uh, Robert Ryan Catering and Design have, has been around for 28 years. Uh, today we have four exclusive venues that we do all the sales, marketing, and catering at. Uh, one is here in Collegeville, the Barn on Bridge. Uh, our second is inside Valley Forge Park at the Philander Chase Knox Estate. We also have uh, one located in Malvern, which is the barn at High Point, and our newest location is out in Westchester, uh, uh, 430 West is that venue name. So the chef and I uh, came up with a diver scallop bite. That's, that's the dish that we, we're going to be doing. Yeah, so today I am going to uh, do a demo on uh, um, diver scallop with a little bit of uh, romaine cream that I made and uh, that is going to get garnished with a uh, micro uh, uh, coriander tempura style and uh, it is going to get paired with a uh, kiwi mule because of, uh, first of all, kiwis, it's in, they are in season right now and then, you know, I just thought, thought of keeping the theme green and green. You got a little bit of uh, uh, green from the kiwi and also green from the romaine cr uh, cream and uh, also we got a little bit of green from the uh, micro coriander. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, to keep, keep, keep the theme green and the mule is going to pair well with, uh, with the scallop. So, looking forward to, to show, show you guys uh, how it's going to get put at the end. Yeah, last year's Bite for the Fight Festival was great. Um, we, uh, we did a few different bites, uh, but I believe the one that uh, you know, really took, took the, the trophy was the uh, tomahawk steak bites that we did with the, uh, the 16 ounce uh, tomahawk steaks that we had grilled and seared, and then we sliced them down and put them on a, uh, the baguette with the chimichurri sauce. You know what, that was just a really uh, fun event last year. There was a lot going on. It was really great to see all of the uh, restaurants that, that were there that day. A lot of, lot of great bites um, and a lot of, lot of uh, great people and good turnout. COVID's been tough um, for everybody this year. Our, our industry has been hit relatively hard. Um, so we shut our business down on March 19th and we were able to reopen on June 26th uh, in the green phase. Uh, since then, we've done about 10 weddings um, over the last two months. Uh, we have a busy September, busy October, but a majority of our events, all of our events right now are outside uh, under tents at, at our venues. Um, so that's been the biggest you know, complication with COVID is not being able to use our indoor facilities and having to use uh, outdoor, outdoor tents at our venues. When we closed our business down on March 19th, there were there was three three to four months that went by where we didn't execute any events. So the excitement that was building up during that time to reopen, um, at the same time with all of the new restrictions, was was very um, very had a lot of anxiety built into it. Um, but now that we're open, executing events, uh, our clients and our guests that come on site feel very safe. Um, you know, we have plastic shields that we're, we have up now uh, in between our staff and, and our guests that are at stations. Uh, we've radically changed the way that we are serving our dinner service, um, even table seatings with, with, for the guests to make them feel comfortable. A um, lot, lot of, lot of uh, new restrictions, but that be, is becoming the new norm uh, in our wedding uh, industry in 2020. The inspiration that I can take from the fight on McKenna and the foundation is being a part of something that gives back to the community and to people. It's a great organization to be a part of um, and uh, highly inspires me to do more for the foundation. And the biggest thing that I take from the foundation and put into my business is just to stay positive. Stay positive and, and, and continue to move forward.